Numerical Integration Simpson's Rule. In this example we're using the trapezium rule. We're trying to work out the area under the curve by using these two strips. The curve at the top of each strip is approximated using a straight line. And as you can see, it's not all that great. The approximation will be okay, but it's not great. Simpson's rule improves on this. Instead of approximating the curve with straight lines, it will use a parabola, a curve, to go from here to here and then from here to here, which fits the curve here much better than the straight lines did. So, like this, straight line, parabola. So to work out an approximate value for the area under the curve here, divide the area into vertical strips. We must have an even number of strips or intervals. These are called ordinates. So we have five ordinates and we have four strips. We work out the y value at each of these points using the x values here. So you'll have the equation of the curve. You work out the x values here. You substitute each one into the equation of the curve and you work out the y coordinates here. And then you apply this formula, which is in the OCR formula book on page 5. And what the formula is telling you is work out one third times h. This is the formula for h. And h is the width of one strip. So it's the same value for all of these. and then brackets you add the first and the last y values together plus four times and this is the sum of all the odd ordinates so in this case it would be y1 y3 plus two times the sum of the even ordinates. And the only even ordinate left here in this example is y2. So you can think of it like this. There's the one-third h the ends, the first y value and the last one. Then you're dealing with the odd ordinates. Then you're dealing with the even ordinates. Example 1, we're going to use six intervals or six vertical strips to estimate the area under the curve. x equals 1, x equals 4. There are six vertical strips. And these are the y values for each ordinate. The width of an interval, using the formula, B minus A divided by N. We have six intervals. So three over six, so that's a half. So we're starting with X equals one, 
and we're going up by a half each time. So one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four. So we have a table of values going from x equals one to x equals four in step sizes of a half. We have the y values worked out for each of these x values. So for instance, when x is 1.5, then y equals x squared, so 1.5 squared, 2.25. Applying the formula, so we just need to put the values in here. So then we've got this. And then the final answer. Example 2. Y is equal to cos x squared. We're working in radians. We're using four vertical strips. H. 1 minus 0 divided by the number of strips. So 0 0.25. These are the values of x starting from the lower limit going up in a step size of 0 0.25 up to x equals 1. The y values have been worked out. Some of these y values you can work out the exact value and write it here but it's better to use the full value rather than a rounded value in the Simpsons rule formula. So using the formula, the area is approximately 0 0.905 rounded to three significant figures. To improve on this approximation, we need to use more vertical strips.